What is going on guys? This is PlayerAguy01 here, and I'm doing the review of Trackmaster Billy. Now, I bought this on eBay, which was $32, or $33. And I use a discount coupon, which, that was a good buy. A great buy. Let's take a look at them first. Now, this was in used condition. As you can see, the sticker is kind of coming off. Here's the nameplate. Here's the back. Now that I know of, of Trackmaster Billy, that this engine, the Trackmaster Billy, is way different than the Trackmaster Trolley from Fisher Price and Mattel. The Trackmaster 1 era from Fisher Price and Mattel. And yeah, I believe this Trackmaster Billy is bigger and the Trolley 1 is smaller. So that's interesting. It's the face. Very nice locomotive. You see what I mean? It says 2007 Glane Thomas Limited made in China. That's the code and if you can't read it, that says Hit Toy Company. So this is a Trekmaster Hit Toys Billy. Hit Toys and made some Trekmaster engines for for a while. Which was from 2007 to 2009 before Fisher Price and Mattel comes in and take over Trackmaster and take and play. So I hit toys in a learning curve. Do not own Thomas, Trackmaster, and take and play or take a lawn from since 2010. So learning curve and hit toys do not own Trackmaster and take a lawn. But now it's Mattel. Mattel is taking over. Uh, I know all of the Trackmaster history. Trackmaster 2 comes in to take over. And yeah, the first time we saw it, it was a complete disaster. It was a massive disappointment. Although the new characters are good. Examples are NTN, Timothy, Lexi, which is actually the best one. Hugo, Samson. Glenn, and a couple more, I guess. I know that Trackmaster Nia is coming out. Which, I'm not going to buy Trackmaster 2 Nia. That's because I don't want to spend money on Mattel anymore. That's because they're ruining Thomas. But anyways, the motor, the drive unit is the flat type drive unit. Which was all over the place from... The 2013 Trackmaster era. And this is quite loud as I open this. Quite loud! Very loud. But anyways, let's go give Trackmaster Billy his run. We're at the railway and here comes Billy's run. Climb. Very strong hill climb. Nice job. I mean, those Trekmaster Toby engines are very clever hill climbs. Very nice. 
So YouTubers, there it is. The review of Trackmaster Hit Toys Billy. Now this is one of the rarest engines in Trackmaster. All I know is Proteus Billy, which he's on camera, Oliver, Bertram, Lynn, I guess, and others I don't know. But at least I got Billy. I mean, he cost $33, which, lucky for me, I use an eBay discount, which that totally helped to save money, and this Billy is in great condition. I'm actually glad that I bought this Billy, because it looks in good nick, even though this engine drive unit is incredibly loud. Let's talk about Billy. Now, Billy in appear in a season 11 episode, which I forgot what it's called. But he appeared in a season 11 episode, which Thomas went to Branham Docks to meet Billy. And Billy can be clumsy. That's what I think. He can be clumsy. And one day, on the island of Sodor, I think Billy was in... The clay pits or the quarry? I'm not sure. I, I don't know Billy's first appearance in a season 11 episode. I think that's where Diesel caused trouble for Billy. Sorry guys, I don't know about the episode featuring Billy. But what I've heard on the Thomas the Tank Engine wiki. It's said that Billy was originally going to appear in season 13, but was replaced with Charlie. It would have been awesome to see Billy in CGI instead of getting replaced by another new character. Now, I saw Wood Billy on Twitter. I mean,. I wonder if Billy's going to return in season 22 or 23. I don't know. He might return. That's because Mattel released Billy in the wood merchandise. I think. I don't know that much. As you know, if Billy returned, we can see the Chuggington mechanics. Hello, I'm Billy. I'm a clumsy engine. You know about that, Neville? Right? Right? Whatever. Yeah. I am still ranting about the chuggies in the guys. Thomas is turning to the new Chuggington in Dora. I mean, breaking the fourth wall. Is it really necessary for kids? I mean, Thomas breaking the fourth wall, Thomas talking to the audience. Is it really that necessary? Anyway, as I know of SpongeBob, one of my favorite cartoon shows, usually breaks the fourth wall almost every season. I remember an episode from Wet Painters, is where Patrick was holding the time cards and says, three hours later, can you move it along? I'm running out of time cards. But. Anyway, I'm not sure. They said that Billy is one of the worst engines in the new series era. Well, that's all I have to say for this review of Chuck Wester Hit Toys Billy. This is Player Guy One here saying thanks for watching, and now see you soon.